Satyameva Jayate. There is a saying, justice can only be delayed, it can never be denied. And today, it has been proved again. The High Court today granted regular bail to our Supremo, ex-Chief Minister, the National Party President of Telugu Desham Party, Sri Nara Chandra Baba Naidu Garu, proving that he is transparent like a washed pearl and also stating very categorically that he has not committed any irregularities in the skill development project. The prosecution even after 30 days of continuous incarceration has failed to present any internal linking to Sri Naidu Garu to the witnesses of Sri Naidu Garu to the witnesses and also it um, in fact very categorically states about the YSRCP's conspiracy against our Supreme it which is very clearly exposed to the, to the people and also it shows that it is nothing but a fabricated case against our Supremo just to tarnish his image just to make him you know uh, not to speak about people's problems not to address the different irregularities the present government is committing it's absolutely a mere attempt and we should say it's a futile attempt by the present YSRCP government to tarnish the image of our Supremo because in the uh, case that has been um, alleged against our Supremo, allegations were made that funds amounting to almost 370 crores were swindled, transferred into various shell companies from different uh, people including Chandrababu Naidu Garu and from there the amount has been withdrawn in cash. But today the court very categorically states in its judgment, the court very categorically states in its judgment that no material evidence is placed to substantiate the contention that CBN Garu or for that matter anybody else has withdrawn amount in cash. There is absolutely no material evidence and there is no money trial that the amount has been transferred to either CBN Garu's account or any of his family members accounts or any of his party members accounts or for that matter anyone who is associated with Chandra Babu Naidu Garu. So, absolutely it again reiterates the fact that the YSRCP government has resorted to absolute vendetta politics on Chandra Babu Naidu Garu and also the prosecution. The, these are the findings of the court wherein the court very categorically states in the judgment today, in the judgment that has been delivered today, the court very categorically states that the prosecution even after more than 30 days of continuous incarceration has failed to present any material linking the petitioner to the witnesses. That means linking Sri Naidu Garu to the witnesses. And also here it is very evident wherein the court says that this particular investigate this particular case investigation has started almost 22-23 months back. And almost 22 months Sri Bian Garu has been out when the case was running, the investigation was running. And wherein he has never ever tried to influence or talk to any of the persons who are involved in the case. So, how come now he will do it again? That is the question of the court. This is the question raised by the court there. And also, the court very categorically say, says that at the behest of the current ruling party, out of political vendetta, probably a case has been registered. During bail applications of other accused, the court reportedly observed a lack of material showing how the pecuniary loss was caused to the APSSDC which was claimed by the government or the CID for that matter. So, these are all the findings of the court wherein the court says very categorically that nothing has been linked to Chandra Babu Naidugar. And also here the court also says about a, a, a point wherein uh, the uh, um, other party says that income tax authorities have independently examined the role of CBN Garu. Yes, but where is the evidence? The court has said that there are no, there, there are absolutely no fraudulent transactions have been found. No material evidence has been placed. No supporting documents or no supporting evidence has been presented. So, where is the fraudulent transaction happened? Where has it happened? Where is the involvement of Sri Naidu Garu there? These are the questions of the court and also the court agrees with our senior counsel saying that CBN Garu cannot be held responsible for every subcontractor's evasion. The court agrees. These are all the documents from the court. This is a 
judgment copy a uh, 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 um, point from the judgment copy which very categorically says the court agrees with the petitioner senior counsel that the petitioner cannot be held responsible for every subcontractor's evasion there is no prima facie indication that officials informed the petitioner of such deviations these are all the findings of the court and also the court also says that this court is of the view that though a detailed examination of the evidence is to be avoided while considering the question of bail to ensure that there is no prejudging and no prejudice a brief examination to be satisfied with the existence or otherwise of a prima facie case is necessary so again we quote one thing that cbn garu quotes all the time he says i will not commit any mistake nor will i allow anybody commit any mistakes this is the principle that chandra babu naidu garu follows this is the principle that telugu desham party follows we have been even from day one onwards we have been very categorically stating that r supremo is innocent he is absolutely not involved in this case and also despite all the efforts of the ysrcp to constantly put shri naidu garu's image at stake to constantly putting efforts to tarnish his image and also constantly trying to put shri naidu garu under scrutiny and trying to label him as a criminal they have tried it in the past uh, almost 60 days we have very categorically seen various people from the government either it is mr sajila or any other person or the ministers or the mlas or including the cid chief everybody came out and said all nonsense things about chandra babu naidu garu and they have made innumerable attempts to label him as a criminal they have made innumerable attempts to put him under scrutiny they have tried consistently to tarnish his image but the only thing that is proved today is that he is innocent he is clean he is as transparent as a washed pearl he is a pearl he is a gem he is a people's leader he is a person who only thinks of people he is a he is a leader who only thinks of people and how to improve their standard of living that's the only thing chandra babu naidu garu thinks so at the end of the day we see that of all this uh, entire cases that have they have trying to put on him or what not the only thing that is evident is ysrcp is scared ysrcp is afraid ysrcp is intimidated ysrcp is terrified of telugu desham party and our supremo sri nara chandra babu naidu garu that is the reason they are constantly trying to you know uh, put false cases they are trying to tarnish his image they are trying to label him as somebody who has done who has committed any crime or what not they have been trying to do it but during all this time we have seen the only things that have come out are the good deeds that chandra babu naidu garu has done the level of development that chandra babu naidu garu has done the amount of transformation he has brought in the lives of lakhs of families the amount of huge support that has garnered across the world for our leader that shows our leader is strong that shows our leader is clean that shows our leader as i said is a, as transparent as a wash pearl so again we say a futile attempt a failed attempt by ysrcp out of their frustration out of their fear out of their uh, uh, probably insecurity that they are going to lose the elections the coming elections they are going to definitely lose so out of all this they have tried to fabricate false cases they have tried to fabricate all sorts of um, false things against our supremo but at the end of the day as i said justice prevails satyameva jayate